Okay, everyone I got wind. These are uh, the lead bulbs. They are uh, MR16. Uh, these ones here, they've only got 12 leads on them. Um, the light output for this, from these ones, they, they weren't bad, but uh, they weren't great. So I've now bought these, I've got 10 of these. They're basically 30 LEDs, and when they they come alight, they um, they actually give out a very good uh, light output, which is about 30 watts each or 40, I think. And what I've done downstairs, I just placed them along here. So that's basically them there. Got one there. Two, three, four. I'm just going to turn them on for you guys to sort of see. So it gives out a fair amount of light. This is a uh, one that I experimented with. I'll just turn it to the ceiling so you can actually see. It's quite nice actually. And um, so it's a nice sunny day. So downstairs I've got all the. We've even got one in there, just for the stairs at night time. The wiring is everywhere, i got to sort it out. So that's it, downstairs is pretty much sorted out. I'll just turn them back on again. So these, these are what they look like. And I bought these so I can actually move these about. I'm just going to turn them on again, just so that you can see the effect. Sorry, my boy's going crazy. It's the night time. Sure, can you just close the curtains, please? I'm just going to close the curtains so you can actually see the actual output. I'm going to try and close the door. You can see probably the reflection from them. And they only consume 1.5 watts. So if you're going to get some, stay away from these ones and uh, try and go for something like this, which is for the LEDs. And that's the light output that they give out. And I bought 10 of them on it off eBay. And, uh, these things, I just pick them up from, from the side. These ones are just like, they're actually fixed, you can't turn them around. But uh, on site, you always pick these up because there's always some of them. These ones here, like the spring is gone. And, uh, and that's it. So these ones here, they're basically connected to my small battery bank, which I'll go into now. Well, you two, stop fighting, okay? Take a picture, no, mate. no, stop, stop fighting. Take a picture of me. I, no. Oh, we fighting. That's my older boy fighting with the neighbours, usual. So this one here, the 40 watts, is what's powering the LED lights. Now let's go inside the shed. Let me see if I can move the solar panels. Today's actually a very good day, it's sunny. There's the amp tip. You probably can't really see it. And that's the treadmill motor there, parked up. So this one here, there's the lights. You're just connected to this thing here, which is the load. And um, I think it only uses, uses that 1.5 of an amp. And uh, that's the smaller battery bank, so then I've got the big one. 
big one I used for light top for the laptop, a smaller TV that we got upstairs, an LCD, and uh, through this thing here, the inverter. At the moment, I'm charging my razor, which is cool. The big panel, the 50 watt one today is putting out 1.9, so let's say two amps. And I'm thinking of running the upstairs light from this as well. So all I've got to do is just run a cable to this section here, which is the load. And they'll tell me, um, they'll basically tell me how much I, I can use. I just got to speak to my, so they got two amps. That's the big one. Okay, i got to go before the kids kill themselves. Uh, another thing is, that's the, that's the solar solar light here, and then you just turn them on, and you can't really see it. The sun is glowing. Okay, everyone got wind, so LED lights are the way to go. See ya.